Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of our Trapped MC Prison Series. This is episode, I believe, 72? 72 episodes in. And guys, as you can see, I am mining with a very, very good pickaxe. Uh, yes, I have been using this pickaxe since P4. Guys, I know, I, it's been a while. Uh, I haven't really mined in a video in a few episodes. Uh, and we we have a pickaxe guys. We have a very good pickaxe um, So <laughs> for the sake of this video uh, Yeah, I'm gonna explain basically how I got this pickaxe and how I'm able to use this pickaxe um, And I also want to teach you guys not really a life a life lesson But a really cool thing that happened to me regarding this pickaxe. It's it's kind of really really cool I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit so you guys can hear me a little better. But, um, guys, this pickaxe basically came from Sir Lemons. Lemons Beast was his name. He doesn't play on the server anymore. But for those of you who did know him, he he grinded this game. He, he really did. He made it to champion before quitting after a few prestiges in champion. And he basically was in my gang ever since the beginning. Uh, we recruited him right off the bat. Uh, right when he joined the server pretty much and um, yeah, he's he was a good player uh, He's he's off at college now. He's living his best life But he left his pickaxe behind and he kept it in the gang. He gave it to Tynism and Basically Tynism gave me access to the pick and Ty doesn't play much anymore And basically me and Perry have been using this pickaxe to rank up me and Perry are both p8 now If you guys don't know who Perry is he's basically like the person I play with the most on this server um, but yeah, he, he's a great guy. Love playing with him. Lots of fun. And we, uh, you know, I'm talking about Perry now. Um, but Lemons, yeah, super cool dude as well. Uh, yeah, just love both of those guys. And, uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun using this pickaxe, just say the least. It, it's basically a max pickaxe. Uh, I'm not going to show it just because, uh, I, I don't want to show you guys exactly what I have on it. It's let's just say it's very good. You guys can probably guess what I have just by watching me mine But um, if I do slash rank cost p9 we need 30 and a half mil and um, Basically some of the enchants on it. I'll, I'll I'll tell you some of them. We have blast 4 magnet 3 and Crypto Cata 5 we have the maxed P plus enchants now, the P enchants are, are pretty much maxed, except there's some level 4s instead of some level 5s. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's a good pickaxe. It's a very, very good. Um, and yeah, I'm very, very, uh, <laughs> very happy to have this pickaxe. It's a great way to make money. Um, so yeah, basically that's kind of where we're at with this whole thing. Um, we're P8 currently. We're trying to get to P10. Um, sooner rather than later. I'm trying to unlock that new mine if possible and um, Yeah, we're, we're, we're making money. We're getting up there in the world of, of mining and fishing I want to show you guys my nets and I'll show you guys my GPUs. We have five ethereals one fabled three ultras uh, slash rack we have all 3070s except for a 3080 and uh, Yeah, we're trying to if I do slash RNG. I'll show you guys that uh, we are about a third of the way for our 3080. Um, everything else, yeah, we don't have access to frags yet. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're working on it. We're getting there. We just got to keep keep playing the game, you know? Just keep playing the game. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep on rocking and rolling. But, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's definitely a lot easier to make money when you have a pickaxe that's just absolutely insane. Obviously, I'm breaking so many blocks, and I'm in the P5 mine right now. I'm trying to get to P10 to get to, to the P10 mine. I uh, hear there's more uh, filler block, more netherrack, or more basalt, or whatever the, the filler block is in P10. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited to hopefully go to the next mine soon. If I need, I think... We need 73 mil to do all that. So that's kind of the the gist of that whole thing. But yeah, guys, that's kind of what's up. So we are on the grind, you know, still mining for some, some monies. And um, yeah, that's kind of how we're, we're rolling. So we're just going to keep mining. Um... The, the lesson I wanted to teach you guys with this whole thing 
is in the beginning when lemons first joined the server i helped him out a lot like i gave him some, some good items and i'm not saying you should give you know new players new item like items but i'm saying like i was generous with what i was giving like, I, I didn't have to give as much as i did I, I didn't have to give any of it but i decided to be generous uh, and, and help my gang member out he seemed like a great guy uh lemons and he is a great guy uh, and i was helping him out i was being generous to him and, um, you know, the Bible talks about uh, how, you know, when you give, it, you you feel good, basically. You, you like, the Bible doesn't, I, I don't really know exactly where it says this, but I know the Bible talks about how God loves a generous giver. And it, giving does feel good. Now, I'm not, just to clarify my words, I'm not sure if it says in the Bible that, that giving makes you feel good. But it does say in the Bible that God loves a generous giver. And basically, what I'm trying to say here is, I gave to Lemons when he was just starting out. And Lemons worked his butt off, got this super amazing pick, and then quit. And now it ended up in the hands of me. So I gave, I, I literally gave, you know, you know, breadcrumbs compared to what this pickaxe is worth and those breadcrumbs turned into, now I received this pickaxe, you know. And it's cool because those breadcrumbs really turned into loaves upon loaves of bread. I'm able to make so much money uh, on the server because I have this pickaxe. And, you know, I'd like to think that part of that is, you know, because I was so generous uh, giving to lemons. I, I think it was, it was cool how the, the pickaxe ended up in my hands again. Or... Not again, but it ended up in my hands. So it, it's cool. It's it's a cool lesson that when you give, it doesn't mean you're going to always get back what you give or get back anything for that matter. But it it uh, just know that God loves a generous giver. So maybe you can apply that to somewhere in your life. Um, and for those of you who are not religious and don't believe in God, you know, that's, that's uh, you know, I would love for you to, you know, believe one day, but dude, yeah, I mean, for now, it's like, I don't know, it's 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 hard, it's hard for me to, because I, I don't want to lie to you guys and say that it's okay that you don't believe in God, like, in my eyes, it's like, I, I want you to believe, you know, but I, obviously, I can't force that on you, but I, I'm not afraid to talk about it, so I hope you guys don't mind it, um, you know. And even if you guys don't, like, do mind it, I'm still going to talk about God and, and Jesus, you know, occasionally. Uh, or more than occasionally, because it's literally the foundation of my life. And so I wanted to share that, that lesson with you guys that, you know, when you give, you know, a lot of times you'll receive a lot more than what you gave originally because God does love a generous giver. And he simply does, um, he, he delights when we give because we are, we are built to give. We're not built to consume. Like we need, we need basic food, water, shelter. But at the end of the day, we there's a special spot in your heart that really is affected in a great way when you give. So I highly encourage you guys to try giving, uh, whether it be some of your income, whether it be some of your time, your talents, treasures. You know, generosity is is a really cool thing. So I hope I don't like scare you guys uh, by saying all this stuff. But you know, this is real stuff. You know, it's, it's the real deal in my eyes. So, hope you guys uh, like listening to new perspectives if they're new to you. Uh, or just, you know, I don't know. I mean, you guys are watching my videos for a reason. I don't know whether that reason, you know, is because you like me or whether you just like the game that I'm playing. I don't know. But I hope I can impact somebody from telling my story. And if I can impact at least one person. That's all that matters uh, for, to make this video, you know. With that, with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, watching me mine with this pickaxe. It's, it's incredible. This pickaxe is so good. Um, with that being said, guys, I'm, it's going to wrap it up for this one. I'll see you in episode 73 next time. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to consider buying a membership. We're up to four members now. We're halfway to eight members. You guys know that's my goal. With that being said, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care and peace.